Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Beanie Baby video. Today I got really lucky. My mother-in-law, in fact, had Beanie Babies of her own. And she just passed them down to me. Because, yep, I'm all in. I'm in the Beanie Baby world for sure. Alright, folks. Um, now, my thing was, I actually went through... I didn't really go through them um, carefully. I just quickly lint-rolled all of them. They came, out of, they came out of a brown box, alright? And they were stored in the garage. So there's just some a few tips and tricks I'm going to... Hey, Hawkey's my little visitor. Hey, say hi to everybody. Here's my beanie baby. There's my beanie baby. Yeah, yeah. All right, Hawkey's, you gotta go. That way. Go by mommy. Go, go. Okay, he's gone. Okay, perfect. So, here's the beanie babies. I put them in the ShopRite bag, of course, but well, after I lint rolled them one by one and just made sure there was no um, fluff or, uh, uh, or any uh, hairs or anything on them. So I just carefully went through them one by one. Not, I didn't really uh, carefully go through them. I just, you know, zipped right through it. Now I'm going to carefully go through them with you. And I was looking forward to this par uh, part. And, yeah, just the recording part. And, um, yeah, so I have a few tricks and tips I'm going to leave you with purchasing and um, storing Beanie Babies. All right. Um, Hokies, can you go? See, that's, that's no good. Hokies, go. 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 You can't be a part of this. Go. You got to go. All right. Yeah. Leave your pets away from your beanie babies. That's tip number one. <laughs> All right, if you want to preserve the quality and the um, and the uh, and you know, the cleanliness of your dolls. All right, so here's Squealer. All right, there's some beanie babies that I have only seen pictures of on the internet, and um, you know, and just the little bit of research that I've been doing with beanie babies, and now I have them here in person, like. So that's pretty good. This is Squealer. Um, yeah, he's missing a heart tag. This is a 1990. Yeah, 93. So Squealer's in 93. And yeah, he's pretty cool. So now I have him. Although I did have a, a, uh, the original tag. I do have the original tag Squealer. Um, and here is. Come on, I just had his name on the tip of my tongue. Oh, Gracie. This is Gracie. So I have Gracie, finally. Cute beanie baby here. Um, with heart tag and a 96. So that's a that's an early date. So I'm, a, I'm assuming since it's a 96, this is a fourth generation tag, which is the yellow star. So not the rare one. Uh, but it's rare uh, compared to all the other um, later tags, of course. So that would be the first non-rare tag. But that's pretty good because that eventually will be as, you know, as we keep the, the hobby and the, the market alive. Because we're collectors and we're keeping it. Oh, and there's also other dolls in here that aren't Beanie Babies. Like, I still have to look some of these guys. It looks like I was trying to lint roll some of this stuff. But that's actual string. So that's part of the doll. And, of course, if you were to sell this, you would describe, you know, whatever's wrong with it. But other than that, it seems to be in pretty good shape. Um, what is this Imperial? Yes, so Imperial Toy Corporation was it? I haven't even looked this up yet, and actually, I was waiting for you to um, to do it together. So this is Imperial. Um, what's his name? So this little guy doesn't have a name, but uh, I'll just keep a picture on him while I type it here. I'm on eBay, so Imperial. Eh. Imperial Toy Collection? Toy Corporation, okay. Corporation. Yeah. Typing with one hand, sorry about that. Alright, Imperial Toy Corporation. Yeah, so, okay, I gotta be specific. Wow, so $21.99 for the giraffe looking thing. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. It's a 96. So if mine's a 96, then I'm right on in the market with the earlier ones. No, it doesn't have a date unless the inside of the tag. No, but you know, I, didn't, I haven't really looked these up yet. This is the first, my first Imperial. 688, okay, I see. 688, so they're going for seven bucks there. 680, so yeah, you know. Here's another doll, 11.95. All right. Oh yeah, yeah. See, I have similar ones to that. 
All right, cool. So Imperial is a cool brand other than TY. So I got I got different things here. I don't know if this was hand knitted or, you know, something someone's grandma did. But this all came from my uh, my mother-in-law. So oh, sad face. And happy. Sad. Happy. All right, you get the idea. <laughs> Oh, we got trolls. I know you love trolls. Looks like a cute little uh, christening gown, I'd say. You know, these are earlier. So my mother-in-law was born in the 50s. So maybe these go back really. Oh, Russ. Okay, Russ is a good good company. These are expensive. Yeah, so Russ is, see, some of these might be expensive, you know, other than the TYs. Oh, yeah, yeah, here you go. This is um, another uh, Fun Beans. Cool looking frog. All right, he's a cool one. See, I just lint rolled them and I, th I threw them in this clean bag. Because I get extra bags when I go to the uh, grocery store. And yeah, so, you know, if you guys like uh, different dolls and different brands, there's some expensive ones, uh, average ones, price wise, and there's very affordable, cheap ones. But you know what? They're all good to me. Especially when they're free. Now, I, I complimented this one to my mother-in-law. I'm like, this looks like a voodoo doll. So, yeah, it's a bunny. I don't know what to do with it. There's no tag. You know, I guess I'll send them the donation. Oh, I got, uh, this is my second Claude. So this is Claude. A 96. My other one was a 96. So I'm assuming that's the time. He came out, yeah, so 96. But this has the heart tag. I don't I don't remember if my other one has a heart tag. I'll do a full collection video eventually. So just bear with me. I'm already at 6 minutes and 53 seconds on this video. I'm going to try to zip through it. Um, this is a peace doll, but a little one. So I guess he's he's cool. Or she. Peace. Yeah, this is a little one. It's very small compared to the, um, the normal size beanies. So that's a tiny one. I don't know if that's part of the teeny beanie baby collection or they're just their own thing. So 2001. So hey, you know what? That does have some value to it. Ah, oh, this is cool. You know who this is? Because I don't. I've seen him before. 95. That's why. It's Waddle. Yeah, I have a Waddle. Hey, Waddle. All right, so Waddle's cool. If you guys like that. How about this? Oh, this is a different company. I, oh, Imperial. So cool. Do they come with tags or not? Like, I know the Beanie, the TYs come with, you know, the Beanie Babies come with the TY tags. But Imperial, I guess, they're just on their own with just the, the butt tags, you know. But, uh, yeah, we'll call them just a panda. And I'll throw them next to the other Imperial. So I'll be uh, going through them later. I'll, sh I'll give you a zoom out later. Let's just go through these. One by one in here. So this is... I know the name. I know the name. Hold on. Without looking. Wasting seconds here. Gotta make a video. <sighs> I know Squealer is behind him. I give up. Sting! I should have known that. So Sting. Cool. I thought Sting was the other guy. See, he has a little speck over there. You gotta really... Go into detail with these dolls. Whether they've been played with or before or just stored on carefully all right so that's one of the tricks so just be careful where you guys are purchasing thank god this is my mother-in-law's girl she had the box in the garage now some garages are pretty bad oh that's the heart tag um that's the red tag scared me so sting is pretty cool he's an earlier doll what year 95 so he's early so that's pretty good oh some of them have uh misspellings they can get they can get pretty rare i forgot to check out for that so, oh yeah it's damaged manny see how it's that's weird this says manny see this is a mistake because wow so that's manny heart tag on a sting touch tag so that's a rare rarity right there this is an honest thing wow because i know my mother-in-law purchased these from the stores yeah so this is manny Wow, see, this would have been... I gotta look into this. Here you go. As soon as I mentioned um, error, things like that. Because I remember Sting was the Stingray doll. I have I had Sting. And this is Manny. The, um... I don't know what the heck this is. Alright, yeah. 
I'm bad with my seals and eels. But, um, yeah, so you got to look out for errors, too. The heart tags are the first thing you want to look for in one person. Like, this one doesn't have the heart tag. So I would, there's the, so if you buy one without a heart tag, you're leaving the room out for you're leaving the room out for having an error doll. For instance, if this has a heart tag, then I'll be able to see if the, it's a, an error, if there's any type of um, punctuation or lettering mistake. Therefore, it would fall into a, a collector's a, a separate collector's category. Whether it's rare or not, it would just be separate error to that doll. Now, if it's a rare doll with an error, then it becomes even rarer because you have you have a rare doll with the error opposed to a common doll with an error. Either way, the errors will always bring in more value, and then you can determine whether your doll is valuable or not just by checking your you know um, tag, your butt tag. So this is nuts, 1996. So he's an earlier doll. See, these came from my mother-in-law, and I'm sure. The really early ones, so they caught on into, the, she obviously got these, you know, with my wife. So they got into the whole um, collecting um, beanies in the um, 96 and their slightly thereafter phase. There was a phase before that where people didn't know what they had. Kind of like the comic books, the baseball cards, like, you know, the great ultimate valuable ones are ultimately uh, the highest valued because at the time the market wasn't appreciated. It wasn't even a thing to collect beanies when they first started coming out. But people that had them, like, wow, wait a second, we have something good because we purchased these for maybe a Valentine's Day gift or just because it was a cute doll on the shelf. It was a cat or this, whatever it stood out to be for that person, lucked out, you know? I'm sure. So it was, it was by mistake. And then Beanie Babies just blew up out of nowhere because, like, wait a second. And that's when they started getting fancy with their um, tags. So that's just a little history for you there. Uh, so that's nuts. He's in pretty good condition other than not having the heart tag. But that kind of defeats the value on him. So I'll have to sell that as a lot. So this turtle guy is not a Beanie Baby. I can tell you that immediately. Okay. But it's this brand. See? I gotta look into these. I don't know what they're worth. I don't know what letters those are. I'll have to do it without the phone later, because I'm recording. Oh, there's some pellets in there. Ah, oh, so it's poly, ah, polythene pellets. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Yep. So, PE. I guess that's what the PE stands for. Slow rider. All right. Next. Ah, oh, so these are awesome. I'm assuming she, she, this is heavy. This thing weighs like two pounds. So this is like very packed with beans. And I don't know what, I have like, oh, you know, let's just take all three. There's a gecko. They're very heavy and they're like, I'm going to, I might just list those or try to sell them on the internet as a set to someone that would appreciate. I don't know what they are. Maybe she got this when she went on vacation to Aruba. I'm thinking they look like something that would be from out of the country, but they're very, very, um, nicely stitched so the creator of these uh dolls you know really packed them real good like the hands are packed with beans these are packed with beans there's some staining i don't know if that was a sticker i noticed the staining on two of them or if that's a logo maybe that would be the logo to give me a, a way to look these up and i don't know what they are so i'm looking at them for the second time with you on the phone um but kind of the first time in in zoom in fashion, if you know what I mean. So that's a heavy turtle. But that looks like its own brand. So I know they're all related. You can tell just by the weight on them that they're all from the same company and the white bellies underneath. Help me, help me. All right, I helped you. So that's that's pretty cool. Something different. I'm just going to say they're from Aruba. And when she went on vacation, she probably bought those at the gift shop. I could be wrong. And this little guy, hey! <laughs> all right, all right, kids, it's Flip. Flip wants me to flip him over. All right, 93, so that's an earlier tag. And I know the red tags sometimes have... Come on. Just a little reading on the internet goes a long way, guys. No, this one doesn't have it. Inside usually has So Flip would have to lose its value because there's no heart tag. And he is stained on the head. So this is the one of the bad ones. I wouldn't even sell that. I might have to... No. 
All right, I'll keep them. Next. All right, these are the teeny babies. We do have a lot of uh, teeny babies in the back. Just some ways to go here. All right, so teeny babies. And yeah, they're uh, the McDonald's um, Happy Meal toy. I, I am assuming they're all from that, um, you know, error in generation or whatnot. So that's, um, I don't know the name of this. Quacker? No. What's his name? We just had it. Oh, it's on the heart tag. Dirt. Patty! <laughs> it's Patty. Sorry, kids. I didn't mean to blow your uh, ears away. All right. So this is a different brand. Uh, why am I still playing with dolls? Don't know. I don't even know what company this is. I'm about to start my own company. Yeah, so this is pretty nice. He's made pretty well. I'll just throw him in a lot for somebody. I'll throw the... Well, I can't give the bad ones. I gotta go through them one by one carefully and see what's stained and what, what's not. So one of the tricks I wanted to tell you and one of the uh, purchase um, precautions, you know, purchase precautionary um, tricks that I wanted to um, tell you was to smell your doll. Literally, like it's for my mother-in-law's garage. Like it's not, there's garage, there's, it depends. So when people list them on the internet, oh, it was stored in the garage or the attic or the basement or the storage room, for instance. They'll never, you know, everybody's room and storage room and garage and, and basements are different. One guy, you know, one place might be immaculate where you can like sleep there and eat comfortably and it's so clean. And some people's basements are atrocious you know you don't really want to so you could never really go by that description you must really examine them put them up to your nose like i can cut this kind of does have a little the garage scent they're not bad because if they were bad they wouldn't be in my house first of all so i visually and i know where they're coming from my mother-in-law's garage and they were in a it depends what container they were stored in so you just got to be careful on you know how where you're getting them from so it was a brown box. If it was my choice, they would have been in a plastic sealed tote and they would have been perfect. But that's the the elements and the air quality and when seasons change, winter, spring, summer, back to fall, back to winter, you know, and so on. It's going through all those weather conditions as well, sweeping, opening the door and all that. So if it's in a sealed container, it would have been more protected. Now that it was in a brown box, I kind of, you know, although it was my mother-in-law's garage, you know, it did kind of hurt the dolls a little, you know. So this batch of dolls that I got right now for the first time, um, you know, aren't aren't A grade. Like my other dolls were A grade. They were perfect, like out of like mint out of the box. So you know what? This is that so I would describe that in this quality, you know. And that's just keeping it honest. Like the trolls wouldn't be affected by it really. They don't really have a lot of fur. So it's just plastic. Like these you can get away with like some of the dolls. But the, the the ones that absorb, just think of it like a sponge, you know. So, you know, you got to be careful um, on purchasing Beanie Babies because you want to know where they come from. You know, if you could, you know, then absolutely. Like me, I go right to the source. Like I'm going to actual people's collections that I know. I step, I go to their house, you know, like but my mother-in-law, my aunt, maybe my mom's, my sister's, you know, like I'm thinking maybe this is uh, my, my mother-in-law, my wife's collection, you know, so you you got to be weary of purchasing on the internet. And you can trust a lot of people, you know, but you just, those are some of the things that the companies that buy the Beanie Babies from you, do like they're doing what I'm what I'm saying how how they inspect them individually and scent is a very good thing you know there's no shame in just picking up a doll and putting your nose to it and be like hmm that smells like you know just fresh air nothing you know nothing I'm um, too crazy but this does have the kind of storage garage look, scent to it just a little bit it's my mother-in-law's garage so i know where it's coming from and it's not that bad so that's lucky i finally have a lucky hey lucky and the heart tag is in very good condition so this doll is in awesome condition this would be grade a because i pulled this in the middle of the batch it just got lucky it survived all the other mishaps and this is a different brand or is it I don't know what brand this is, and it's not T.Y., but it's cow! 
All right, next. Ah, so this this is I can see why she got this. It's um those hot dog thingies. Yeah. So yep. Cool doll. Alright. Throw them in the pile. Another troll! Don't get scared of trolls, kids. They're just plastic. And furry staticky hair. Right, he's a cool one. This might be an original from the uh, 91. Are you kidding me? I thought they were from the 70s. Alright, I guess they have a 91 version. Oh, yeah, so my mother-in-law's, um, she made this with her father. So this must be really old. She said she, this, is a, this is a decoration, not a toy. Cool. First birthday. Uh-oh, are you kidding this is my wife's first birthday. I don't think she knows this. I have to read this. Surprise her with it. Oh, it is my wife. Oh, from Aunt Lorraine and Uncle Mel. Oh, I gotta show this to her. That's a surprise. See? They do find some cool stuff. Sometimes they have sentimental value, too. This is uh, a teeny beanie baby. It's a lizard. Get this away from me. And there's just two more things. Um, glass, I guess, little decorations. You got slippers, uh, sandals, and a, and a glass heart. Cool. And another T.Y. Teeny beeny. And that's bad. No, it's chops. Right, so chops is done. Chops is done busting my chops. That's the end of that. And let me give you a zoom out. All right, folks. Well, that's it. Please subscribe. Thanks. Comment. Like. Do all the above. And uh, just remember, I was just sharing my ideas and thoughts with you. And I hope that improved your Beanie Baby, uh, you know, collection. And, um, yeah, um, hopefully there's more to come with that. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Later.